60 years ago, these were the tools they used to shape the keel and structural logs. The cross-cut saw and the adze. It was back-breaking manual labour. The biggest blue gum log measured almost 20 metres. The first sight of the boat was a train load of logs from the Otways. Port Ferry didn't have a crane big enough to lift them. The biggest one was eight tonne. So they basically had to set about squaring up a eight tonne piece of uh, Australian blue gum, which is no mean feat. They rolled the five huge logs onto timber jinkers and trucks and carried them to where the boat was to be built on their vacant Port Ferry house block on the west bank of the Moyne. The boys had never before worked with timber this big. Their shipwright, Father Hugh Haldane, however, had. The story was that when they squared up the first log, they cut one side of it away and, uh, of course, the thing bowed like a sort of a big boomerang and the, uh, the grandfather came back and he said, Sonny's, do the other side and she'll square up and that's what happened. That was 1944. They didn't know it at the time, but building the Tacoma was going to take the Haldane boys more than seven years. I think they fooled themselves in some ways. They thought there was going to be a two-year project. They had built these boats before, which were one-year projects. They were 40-footers, 80-footer multiplied by two. Pretty simple. But uh, I don't think the enormity of it uh, dawned on them until they started uh, the project. With the Wooden Boat Festival in Hobart behind them, the crew's thoughts turned to getting the Tacoma safely back to Port Lincoln and on the way returned to the Moyne and Port Ferry for the first time in 60 years.